and I did like an AMA on Reddit once, like a year ago. Um, and I have like a GitLab for code stuff. I think I, I think I read that actually, cause you, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you, did you do some work for RH? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you were telling how, correct me if I'm wrong in the AMA, you were saying that he pays in the USDC. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, either that or ETH. Or ETH, yeah. he has lying around. And are you currently, I don't know if you're even allowed to say, are you currently working on any projects at, at the moment for him? Uh, you can just say... Yeah, no I'm going to stop answering a question. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. <laughs> um, what do you, as a, as a dev, um, what do you think about everything that's been going on with the delay with Pulse Chain? and um your kind of predictions for when it will be released and you know what what's been happening basically behind the scenes well essentially currently pushing works fine we have the test net we can see that um and it's been working fine for a month but essentially the team just wants to make it more efficient before it's being launched because this kind of improvements are easier to do before launch than in future updates and essentially what they're doing is to take the logic of the validators out of a smart contract and instead putting them into the native EVM Go code to just make the whole thing um, more efficient and more resilient to any kind of DOS attack. Mm -hmm. So it's essentially just performance upgrades and we don't know how long they will take. Um, <laughs> every ETA of one to two months so far has been uh, turned out as wrong. <laughs> and yeah. I think it's a smart move for me to, to not give any more ETAs. Uh, probably nobody would believe them anyway. So it's just going to be announced when it will be ready. Mm. And yeah, like the general market situation, my guess would be that the X bear market continues until either uh, mainnet is announced with a specific date of the snapshot or uh, the, the docu comes out. So the eyes of stakes. So like the two main events that are next on the general roadmap uh, of the ecosystem. And yeah, until then we'll see. Um, what you, so coming on to that, actually, um, obviously they've got the highest of stakes and a lot of people have been saying that they'll probably come out if it gets bought quickly, probably January time, but, uh, the other argument that I've heard a lot for why Pulse Chain's delayed is that actually maybe Richard's looking to time the market right at the bottom of the bear market. And we haven't seen enough blood in the bear market. And we've not seen that 85% drop to 11K from the top, which was what, 68K Bitcoin. Um, so we've not seen that that significant 85% drop that you typically see in a bear market. What do you think about that? That that theory that maybe it's, it's more about the timing of um, releasing Pulse Chain? Well, that might also play into that. Um, maybe we're lucky and the actual code is ready at a moment when Richard thinks that we bottom it out. So I think his latest call was 11K for Bitcoin. Um, usually the Bitcoin bottom is like 365 days after the top. Mm -hmm. um, top of the last bull market was, I think like beginning of November. 21. So that would leave us with maybe another half a year to launch. Um, mm. Like I think somewhere in that area could be maybe end of year, start of next year. Yeah. Yeah. I, a lot of people are saying around, uh, around the, that time, I heard a couple of people say around October, um, uh, October time. Yeah, uh, October, November would, would kind of make sense for the for the for the very bottom. And 